Dr. Chris Doherty here. I'm going to demonstrate my technique for utilizing Parkus 1.8 millimeter draw tight anchors for a rim plissage. So we've been intra-articular, we've identified our defects. We're now in the subacronal space and we're clearing it out thoroughly so that we can work posteriorly. I will fix posterior labral pathology first, then place rim plissage anchors but not tie them, then fix anterior labral pathology, then move back and tie my rim plissage anchors to take the stress off of my labral repairs. So here we got our anchor, we've worked through a cannula, we've drilled through our guide, placed our anchor down through the guide. We'll go ahead and toggle our deployment sutures, which in this case are the white ones. And then we'll work through the same cannula, leaving the sutures in place on the first anchor because we're protected by the drill guide, and place our second rim plissage anchor. So you can see here, we'll go ahead and drill, we're at the superior margin of our hill sacs defect and we'll drill and place our anchor, toggling our deployment sutures. Now again, these are just docked into that posterior portal. I'll go ahead and bring my arthroscope back in, do my anterior labral work before tying these posteriorly, and that way I reduce the risk of placing too much stress by putting my anchors for my remplissage in before repairing my anterior labrum. So once we've got our anchors in, we'll go ahead and fix our anterior pathology like we discussed and move back into the subacromial space. All the sutures are inside the same cannula, so we cut our white deployment sutures. We simply tie one strand from each anchor together, slide these down, and then tie a standard surgeon's knot with the remaining limbs, one from each anchor, to compress the rotator cuff down into the hill sacs defect. In doing so, we effectively convert an intra-articular defect into an extra-articular defect utilizing these 1.8 millimeter soft anchors. So here we're outside looking in fairly down at our cannula and you can see we've already got our rotator cuff compressed into the defect. And we'll go ahead and tie these down before cutting these other suture tails and completing our remplissage. Again this is utilizing two Parkus 1.8 millimeter draw tight anchors.